100,000 lights and a colorful fireworks show. Walking around in our go-go boots with candy canes in our hands. Later we'll have some meat pies and we'll dance along with the band. Megan, Jackie, Austin, Amanda, Leslie, are your bells? Gabby is Miss Merry Christmas. Trust us, you don't want to miss this rocking around. The festival is the 87th year. It's our tricentennial and Santa's almost here. Come on down to Santa Lane to meet him and his bells. Join us on the 7th of December. Let's make this one to remember. Shopping around. On Broad Street, you know it's Christmas time. We hope to see everyone having another year of fun. Well, this is our favorite time of the year. Starting on November 23rd, we kick off the festival season. Uh, that will be our Saturday night, and for Saturday nights, every every weekend from November 23rd going on through the last of, of December, the weekend after uh, New Year's Day, we will have fireworks and festivities going on down on the riverbank, and we just invite everybody from all over the state of Louisiana and even outside to come visit our community. Uh, very family and children oriented festival on December 7th. That's our big day, the, the day of our Christmas festival. It's just a huge time in Natchitoches. Uh, we just, uh, we'll have, uh, have the big parade that day. We'll have entertainment on the riverbank. It's just a fun day. You have plenty of food. Uh, just exciting time in Natchitoches. We just love it at this time of year around here. We kick off the holidays on November 23rd with our annual event, Turn on the Holidays. It's a day-long activity full of family fun. We have a green market from 8 to 12. We have children's activities from 1 to 4, and then we have a band playing that evening leading us up to our first ever kickoff uh, the tricentennial celebration and fireworks show over beautiful Cane River Lake in which I'm standing right in front of. So it's a day full of activities. It sits us into our Christmas season, which is unlike any other you've ever seen. We have thousands of lights that illuminate our downtown historic district and the Cane River Lake. And we'll have great food, great fun. We have fireworks. Um, it's just a great event for everyone to come out. You also have a big event on December 7th. Tell yes. us about that. December 7th is our actual Christmas festival. It's our 87th year of doing an annual Christmas festival. We will have parades all out through the day. We have great vendors of funnel cakes, meat pies, alligator on a stick. We have an alligator booth that will be set up where you can come and actually take pictures with the alligator. We have um, our Grand Marshal this year is going to be Frank Foster and he will perform live on our Riverbank stage. He'll be our headline entertainer that day. We have two parades and we end the night with a great fireworks show. It's um, I believe it is a 20 minute fireworks show over Cane River Lake. It illuminates both ends of the lake and we have all of our Christmas lights that we turn on and it's just something that you don't want to miss. Tell us about the Snow Hill. Snow Hill. Snow Hill is our feature that you can only find in Natchitoches. We're the only place in Louisiana where you will find a snow hill and we have that three weekends. Uh, our first weekend will be the weekend of November 30th, then we'll have it December 14th and December 21st. It is 100 feet of snowing and tubing on what we like to call Frosty's Avalanche Slide. The kids can come in, they can get on a tube and they can slide down a snow hill right here in the heart of the south. Tell us uh, how long are the lights up and when are they up? We have the lights up for 45 nights throughout the Christmas season. We start at November 23rd and the lights are on every night until uh, the beginning of the year. So we will have fireworks each weekend. We'll have fireworks and entertainment in addition to our lights that you can see anytime. If you can't make it on the week time, you come during the week. They will light up every night. We have a bridge show that will play um, every night on the bridge and it's really great. If you haven't seen it, we illuminate all sides of the bridge with colors from purples and greens and reds and yellows and blues. It's just an amazing, amazing experience. You have to really see it to understand it. During the 45 nights of Christmas lights, the downtown merchants in Natchitoches have so many unique and different things for you to do. Why is shopping in Natchitoches at Christmas time so special? We have such unique things. We have everything from the oldest hardware store to a kitchen store to gift shops to Natchitoches items and Louisiana items. We have dress shops. We have candy stores. We have everything. What is it about Natchitoches that brings people from hundreds of miles away during Christmas? 
The ambiance of Natchitoches draws people here, plus all of the different events that we have. We have the most spectacular fireworks on Saturday nights. We have a snow hill. We have mechanical bulls. We have uh, entertainment on the riverbank stage. We have carolers every Friday and Saturday night. And it snows every Friday and Saturday night. You're going to get something unique in Natchitoches. You go to the mall and you're going to get the same thing that everybody else has. In addition to the Christmas festival, we have so much going on. We are now the home of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame and Northwest Louisiana History Museum. So if you are a sports fanatic, you're not too sure about these Christmas lights, you can go and check out the state-of-the-art museum located right here in downtown historic Natchitoches. It is unbelievable. The first thing you'll notice when you come to the museum is the architecture. It's fine Trey Trahan Architects based out of Baton Rouge and it's built of cast stone and you'll see as, as you look up into the hallway, it's, it resembles the flowing rivers of Louisiana. The copper on the outside is supposed to resemble the plantation louvers shutter, shutters, the soil. Agriculture is such a part of life here in Louisiana and the building is to reflect the, the environment of Louisiana. We have here on our first floor the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame and that is the, we have a wall of fame with all the inductees in the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. We have a beautiful interactive database that you can look up facts and statistics on all of the inductees. We have two cases for the brand new inductees from 2013 that have artifacts and memorabilia from their sports career. And we also have uh, uh, Louisiana in the Olympics and Louisiana on the national stage here on the first floor. The second floor of the museum, we have the history of sports throughout Louisiana and we also have a beautiful section on Northwest Louisiana history, specifically from 3,000 years ago up um, through pretty much through the present. Tell us about the special holiday hours during the Christmas uh, 45 Nights of Light. We are very excited. From November 23rd to January 6th, we are going to be open till 7.30 at night. So our hours will be Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 7.30, and Sundays will be 1 to 7.30. While you're in Natchitoches, don't forget to stop by and see our Guinness World Record holding art exhibit, the Natchitoches Legacy Art Project. Behind me is the Natchitoches Legacy Art Project, which is a 48 foot long artwork by eight feet tall, and it's a Guinness World Record on, by December 4th. Tell us a little bit about what scenes are depicted here. Uh, this, uh, as you know, Natchitoches is celebrating its tricentennial next year, and in that honor we have uh, created a piece that uh, you know, celebrates uh, the oldest city in the Louisiana Purchase. And that's what Natchitoches is. And uh, so in that honor, we have created uh, an artwork that will benefit future students because 300 prints of those will be sold for $300 each. And that $90,000 will be put in a trust fund so that children in the future do not have to worry about the cost of education in the Natchitoches Parish. What puts this in the Guinness Book of World Records? This is um, the largest mosaic made out of uh, Mardi Gras beads. And uh, there is currently a, meet, a beat project in the Netherlands that is half the size and it will be broken. How did you get the idea to use Mardi Gras beads? Um, I moved to New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina and uh, noticed the abundance of Mardi Gras beads that are being thrown away. And I thought it would be great to make images out of that that uh, display Louisiana. I see you've got some students helping you. Yeah, this is uh, the school from the, uh, the middle lab. Yeah, we have lots of schools you know, walking through the process. It's a great opportunity for me to teach students of how to work with recycled Mardi Gras beads or with recycled mar uh, materials, period, uh, how to glue it on. I mean, uh, they are you know, found objects. So if you can do something like this, you can also use fossils like we have done on the artwork. We have uh, used uh, 46 million year old fossils and um, you know, it's just in general a good experience because it teaches team building. It shows that something magnificent like this cannot be achieved by a single person. So the community and everybody has to work together in order to make this happen. When can people view this? They can view it any time. We are open here pretty much from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. in the evening. And uh, this, uh, the Natchitoches Legacy Art Project will be on display here you know, almost through the end of December. So people can stop by here at the Hanshi Gallery on Northwestern State Campus anytime they wish. My memories of the Christmas Festival have always been about the homemade meat pies and the wonderful funnel, funnel cakes that they serve. How many years have you been coming? Um, I am 17, so 17 years. 
What's your favorite part? My favorite part has, um, has, has to be walking in the parade and just waving to everybody. Why should people come? What can they get here in Natchitoches at Christmas time they can't get anywhere else? Well, Natchitoches is the, uh, was the first settlement in 1714 of the Louisiana Purchase, and it has amazing historical character. I've been coming since I was a little baby, so 17 years, and my favorite part of the festival has been able to watch the fireworks with all my family. What's so special about Natchitoches at Christmas time? Well, the, the most special part about Natchitoches is being able to come to the City of Lights and just see all the lights being turned on and spending time with family. I've been coming to the festival since I was a little girl. Um, some of my favorite memories have been um, watching the fireworks on the riverbank with my family. Um, it's beautiful and it's just so enjoyable to be with your loved ones. Why is Natchitoches a special place at Christmas? Um, food, family, fun, we've got it all and it makes Christmas just so magical and you're with your loved ones. It's awesome. You need to come. <laughs> My favorite memories here have to be walking around with my family and meeting my friends and just everybody coming together as a town um, and participating. What's special about Natchitoches at Christmas? Um, Natchitoches Christmas is not like anyone else's. Uh, we definitely have a lot of lights around here and our food is like the best around and it's just a very fun and family friendly place. This will make 17 years of coming to the festival. And one of my favorite memories would have to be riding on the Christmas Angel float in fourth grade. Tell us why it's special at Christmas time here in Natchitoches. Um, Natchitoches celebrates Christmas in a very unique well, way and we love family and we love kids and we just love hanging out with everyone. The Christmas Festival is my favorite part of our town of Natchitoches. It's so much fun. We have the parade, the fireworks, the over 300,000 Christmas lights and the awesome food. It's a great place to be with your family. There's events for everybody and I think everybody should come. What's your favorite part of the festival? My favorite part of the festival is the parade. I've been able to dance in the parade and participated in it. And it's also so much fun to watch. There's bands and dances and floats. It's awesome. How many years have you been coming to the festival? I've been coming to the festival ever since I was born. So this will be my 17th year being in the Christmas festival or getting to watch it. What's special about Natchitoches at Christmas time that people can't get anywhere else? What's special is the bonds we have. Everybody comes together as a town and we participate in the Christmas festival and we enjoy it so much. It's awesome. This is a very special year for us. The Natchitoches Christmas Festival this year is the kickoff for our year-long centennial celebration beginning January 1st in 2014. Tell us about the history of Natchitoches. Natchitoches, of course, is the oldest permanent settlement in the Louisiana Purchase Territory. It was founded in 1714, a few years before the city of New Orleans. So we are actually the oldest city in the state of Louisiana, and we are doing a celebration next year that's 300 years in the making. The river behind you was a key part of the settlement in early Natchitoches. Tell us about it. That's correct. Uh, years ago, in the early 1800s, there was a gigantic log jam. We used to have, the, the, the Cane River was actually part of the Red River system, and there was a log jam that blocked the navigation, so it literally cut the river off and became a part of Oxbow Lake, which is about 30 mile, 38 miles long. That didn't stop the development of Natchitoches because it's always been an agrarian uh, culture, and all the plantations downriver developed over the years, and they were one of the major suppliers for cotton throughout the state and throughout the South. Tell us what kind of events do you have planned for the 300 year anniversary of Natchitoches? Well we have about 80 events already planned. We hope to have about 150. The nice thing about this, our celebration is based on what we call a theme. Every month has a particular theme and it has to do with culture and history and cuisine of Louisiana. For example, February is Black Heritage Month. April is a huge music month where we celebrate musicians in Natchitoches Parish. June is our Sports Hall of Fame Recreation Month. Uh, we go and we have, we have colonial heritage, we have celebrating uh, architecture, and every, every, every month has a theme that we'll use to bring people into town and promise them that they'll have all kinds of things to look at, they'll have tours, they'll have exciting events, there'll be live music on the bandstand right here, and we hope to have a fireworks display every second Saturday of every month in 2014. Why is it important that people learn the history? Well, obviously, it's been said many times, if you don't know your history, you have no direction where your future is. And the history of this state is a wonderful history. It's, it's built on a very diverse population, uh, wonderful, wonderful people, great food. And it's important for everybody to understand the history of Louisiana. And we're excited that we were the first settlement, and we were very much a part of the history of the state and how it has evolved into a wonderful, wonderful place to live.
We just invite them to come to Natchitoches. If there's questions I haven't answered, they can visit our website, natchitocheschristmas.com. And uh, I just want to invite everybody from all anywhere that's listening to this to come to our community. We have a saying in Natchitoches, we careful visiting here. You might not want to leave. And uh, the only way you can, we can prove that to you is come visit us. People should come to the Natchitoches Christmas Festival because this is Christmas you can't get anywhere else. This is very unique. We're the Christmas Bells and we want to see you in Natchitoches this year.